Hi Pisces, welcome to Body Tarot. This is going to be an energy check for you going into the month of June 2024. Pisces, please keep in mind that this reading is general and that it may or may not resonate with you. I hope you are well wherever you are and thank you Pisces for sharing your energy with me today. Having said that, let's jump right into your message and see what energies we have for you. What do we have for Pisces going into the month of June 2024? So we have the star. We start your reading with the star. So Pisces, this is this is hope and healing and light at the end of the tunnel. Some of you Pisces might have been through some really uh, difficult times. Uh, you know, I see this uh, woman here, this person here with, uh, you know, she's around garbage and, you know, water that's flowing into a drain and there is like, it looks like a dark alley or a dark lane, but you know, as dirty as the surroundings are around her, you see her dress, it's clean and it's white. So I feel like Pisces, you've maintained your purity and your innocence in a situation uh, and you're kind of hopeful uh, regardless of the situation around you. You're coming in with a lot of healing energy and, you know, kind of aligned with the universe. You know, Pisces, what the star says is no matter where you are, you're doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. You are, just as the star in the sky is meant to guide us, you are, wherever you are, you're doing, you're fulfilling your purpose, I want to say. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords. So while you're fulfilling your purpose and being the star that you are, you are being encountered with some, uh, you know, interferences. Uh, the Eight of Swords in this deck is called interference. And if you see, uh, there are so many wires that are kind of entangled uh, around the system. And, uh, you know, this could be any kind of interference. Um, this is basically mental interference, but what could be causing this interference. I don't know, Pisces. It could be people around you, circumstances, just unwanted factors, uh, unnecessary things, or could even be, you know, very important issues that you must address. I'm not quite sure. Let's get some more energies. Uh, we have the Ace of Discs. So there is a new opportunity that's showing up for you while you're in the star energy. But between you and this this brand new beginning, there is some form of interference, something or someone or some energy or even yourself. Uh, I don't know, but uh, with the Eight of Swords, something's coming in between you and this brand new opportunity, uh, which has great potential for you to, for it to grow into something very big. Um, we have truce which is the Four of Swords in this deck. So there is somebody right now, Pisces, that you're wanting to, or there could be somebody who is wanting to make peace with you, but only temporarily, because that's what the truce is about. It is to come to an agreement, to, to agree to disagree for a short time, or to agree to not disagree for a short time, but it's, but it's just, it's you and somebody that are coming to an agreement that at this point in time, peace is what is more important. And I feel like that is the tactic that you're taking because it's literally making the eight to the half. So whoever or whatever is, you know, interfering with you, whether it's somebody at work in your personal life, it could even be an annoying neighbor or I don't know, family member, a friend, a lover, anybody. It, just, it could just be about anybody, but it seems like you're somebody at work or whoever, you're, you're, make, you're calling it a truce 
with this person because it gives you the peace that you need at this time in order to be able to focus on this potential new beginning that is heading your way. Um, I did see the Empress underneath the deck. So for some of you, you know, it could be this feminine energy that you are coming to a truce with. And the feminine energy could be anybody, you know, a, fem a female friend, um, a mother figure, a mother, a grandmother, aunt. Uh, but it, there's love. Basically, this it's like personal, you know. So we have uh, what flipped out on top is the filmmaker. So you're showing up as the Prince of Cups. It, I feel like it is time for you to make your own movie. It is time for you to focus on what it is that you want. Uh, the filmmaker is someone who kind of definitely has a frame, a frame in mind and something that they want to focus on. And I feel like you're very focused at this time about what it is that you want. Uh, we have the Eight of Wands that is falling down and it's called the Swiftness. There's, I see, you know, the wheel here turning in great speed. The wheel is almost blurred. The motion is visible here. Maybe there is some delivery. There could be some news that you're sending out or you could be traveling with the wheel here or there could be some form of communication. I see someone in an apron delivering something. So, you know, there could be Something is coming or going very quickly. There, there's this the swift energy, the swift movement that's taking place. Let's get some more cards. What else for Pisces? Yeah, the Empress is out again. So, uh, you know, this is an important person that you're dealing with. This could also be your energy, uh, Pisces. You could be the mother figure that's coming. That's uh, You could be the mother figure yourself. But irrespective, whoever is the Empress, uh, there is some, there is something around love and relationship and I feel like with the swiftness and the empress showing up after that love is growing very quickly I want to say or something is happening very quickly for somebody you love or somebody you're in love with there is some dynamic in love and I see a baby as well okay so uh, usually I don't not all empress cards have babies in them but this one does so you could be moving towards somebody i don't know but um there is a feminine energy this could even be your sister or anybody that's having a baby uh, this is just uh, something to do with family and love and then we have debauch in the reverse so I feel like, Pisces, you're making a choice when it comes to somebody. You don't want to explore your options. You know, debauch is extreme indulgence in bodily pleasures, uh, especially drugs, sex, uh, alcohol. And with the debauch coming out in the reverse and the empress before that, I feel like, Pisces, someone, you and someone are choosing each other. You've made a choice and uh, no more options. And there is a lot of love and loyalty, I want to say, you know, uh, with the deep watch in the reverse. Um, we have luxury underneath the deck in the reverse. So, uh, you know, this is the four of cups. So if anybody has been complacent in the past, there is no more complacency. Somebody is taking action and moving forward. And I feel like there is a new opportunity to start off something brand new with the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress below that. There is potential for something to grow into something really loving, nurturing and uh, something long term. 
So uh, Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope this was useful in some way. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. And I will catch you again soon later. Bye.